Hey there, are you looking for a doctor? Perhaps a dentist for yourself or a loved one. Maybe you need to find a local physical therapist. You may know the ins and outs of your health plan, but what if you want to find more options for someone local in your network? Which doctor can help? Find doctors, medical practitioners, and holistic providers in your area and know all the details up front before you visit their offices from the ease and comfort of anywhere you can use your phone. Which doctor is a free Android phone app that provides you a local listing of medical services in your area based on your selections and all the details associated so you don't have to dig for the information. Find services in your network. Know beforehand what services they provide and whether or not they can accept your insurance carriers. Take referrals, schedule appointments, and get more information on what really matters from professionals, your health. Just a few clicks on the Witch Doctor app can find your doctor or health professional in minutes and even get you directions all in the same interaction. And best of all, the process is free. You can download us today on the Google App Store. Witch Doctor. Find your doctor. Hello all, and welcome to another edition of Red Marmot Gaming. As always, I'm the Red Marmot, and today we are discussing crate making in Black Desert Online. This video is intended as a beginner's introduction to crate making, and I've gone ahead and linked some additional videos in the description below that go into more depth on specific topics when it comes to crate making. I often hear and get questions from new players on what crates are, how they can get started in crate making, what do they need, and where should they go to make crates. Now I don't plan on answering all of those questions in depth in this particular video, but I do want to get players started that may not be too familiar with life skilling, as it is never too late to get into this particular line of life skilling to start making crates. And they are a great source of player income, so if you, have your, if you see yourself struggling, this could be something that could help you. So first, take a look at the world map, and the top left, you're going to go to the second from the bottom line, where it says purpose, and type in workbench. You can do this anywhere. Press enter, and it's going to give you a list of keywords for workbenches. Now what this is doing is it's showing you all these various houses in several locations. This was the first one on the list. Velia, um, I think as 5-1. Um, and here, these are showing you every single place that has the name workbench in it. Workbenches are places where you can make crates. They can be mineral, they can be mushrooms, they can be herbs, they can be various things, farming. This particular one is mineral. Now what that means is your workers are the only way to make crates. They're not the only way to gather resources, but they are the only way to make crates. So a workbench is where you will send a worker to make a particular crate, whether it's an ore crate like this copper ore crate, or whether it's a more complex one like this steel bar crate here. Now, when you're going to be looking at the more complex crates, the ones that involve processing, like steel bars, bronze, etc., you need to actually process those resources yourself. I wouldn't recommend having your workers make it for you. They can, but it's usually a waste, and it's fairly easy to get processing up. It's even easier if you have the Pearl Shop um, maid or butler uniform, then you can process right out of here. Here is another workbench of a different type. This is the wood workbench. Most players do the wood. It's easier to do the wood, I think, just because you can do that out of Trent. Now, distance does matter when trading, so that's why some people are going to go after Trent, and plus you can get a lot more tree nose to do various things. I personally do ore, I know other people that do various ores, because I can take the ores made directly, as, you, as I showed you previously, and I don't have to process them. I can make what's called trash crates and just get those out of the way. Now, as you look here and you go down the list, you'll see that there are various locations like here. I wouldn't recommend using this one, but I'm just showing you the list. Once you type in workbench, you can go through that list and actually find all the various workbenches currently in game. And you can assign workers though. Remember though, that when you're assigning a worker, wherever the worker is coming from is where the materials need to be. So if they're making, for example, like pumpkin, 
right here in in that particular workbench the pumpkins need to be in the warehouse where the worker is coming from that also means that that crate is from that same location now i make metal crates so i use ores and that sort of thing if i don't do anything to my ores let's say my workers are just gathering copper ore they're gathering iron ore i can assign them wherever from if they're from that warehouse where that ore is to a workbench somewhere and have them just process ore crates based on copper ore. I don't have to do any processing. Now those are trash crates. They just get your EXP up. But if you really want to make money, you want to make more specialized crates and that's your bronze, your silver, etc. Like these crates right here. Now to make those, you have to do actual AFK processing. Active processing doesn't really matter. Just process out of your inventory these particular bars for copper you can use copper and tin and you can make bronze bars you process and heat those together and for steel it's uh, iron and coal brass is going to be copper and zinc and to do this you need to have completed the life skill chain to allow you to do that now I'm not going to go into depth there but that is a quest so you have to be able to do that to get the ability to process this. Now, again, your workers can make these for you without having to go through that quest, but it's really not the best way to go about it. You want to do it yourself. Now, once you have all that together, let's say you have your crates, what do you do with them? You take your crates and you have to overstack them. So here's how you overstack. You put a little bit of the crates on you as much as you can carry. You put them on you and then you move them once you have them on you to your nearby mount whether it's a horse a cart a elephant you put it on your mount and once you put the core the, the actual crates on your mount you have to take them off your mount back onto you after you've put on some more crates onto you because you can't you can't stack onto your horse over and over again. I can only go back and forth between you. So I'm starting here with putting the crates into my inventory. Then I put them on my horse who is nearby. I get more crates out of my storage into my inventory. I take the ones on my horse, put them on my inventory, and then put those crates together combined back on my horse. It's a very tedious process and there are several times where I have accidentally put everything back into the storage. I'm sure all of us have done that at some point. But if you go back and forth between you and your horse while slowly adding in um, a new set from your storage into your inventory like I'm doing here again, you can keep overstacking the weight until you have all your crates on your mount. Now you want them on your mount because your mount's easier to drive around and you'll be able to drive it to a trader, get off, and then be able to trade. You can sell everything at once and make sure you bargain so you get the most for your EXP, well, mainly for your money. And of course, if you're gonna be doing this in the desert, that's going to help you a lot too. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you want to make, maybe some additional information, please feel free to post it in the comment below. And if you found this video helpful in terms of helping you make crates or even helping you understand how to weight stack on your mount and yourself, I know that's an issue as well, please feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, I am the Red Marmot, signing off.